Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. Welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I'm up to is what you're gonna see. And it's a new year. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm so excited. And it's a new year and I finished last year's temperature blanket. I did it, I, I did it in real time. I finished it, you know, as, as the year came to an end, the blanket came to an end. It is done, it's done. So I'm gonna show it to you, but I also have a plan for a temperature blanket for this year. I did a video a few days ago where I went to Michael's and I got some more yarn and I showed you the, um, like the practice square that I'm gonna be doing. So I'll show you again, but I'm also gonna show you how I made that square and what the plan is for this year's temperature blanket. But first, let me show you what I accomplished. So this is it. This is the temperature blanket. It actually starts at the far end. It starts down, starts at that end. That This corner over here, that's the beginning. That's January 1st of last year. Then down here, that one right there, that was New Year's. Now, I did not plan properly. So what I did to fill in the extra spaces is I just did a solid color at the very end because you can see I only had enough for the beginning of this row. But then I just did a solid color of each of the colors to the end. And that was how I dealt with that little problem. But this was definitely a learning experience. So just coming in to give a closer up look, you could see it was basically like a center and I alternated the black and the beige and the black and the beige. And then this outside color was the high temperature of that day. And then I used a black yarn to connect everything together. And that's how it came out. And I'm pretty proud of it. I did a good job. So that was last year, and now we're in the new year. So what am I doing for 2023? So as a reminder, this is the practice square that I made. So it's a skull in the middle, and then it's like a granny square on the outer edge. And that's what we're gonna do for this year. High temperature is the skull, just gonna do a black border around the edge. And then, just like last year, I made a code key. So it's broken down by 10 degree temperatures and it has a corresponding color. At whatever temperature it is that day, that's the, the color the skull is gonna be. So let me show you how I make this because January 1st, I can make the square for today. So today it is unseasonably warm for January. It is a high of 56 degrees today. So I take my little code key here and I look for 56 degrees, which is hard to do in the camera. It's here. So it's actually that multicolor. So we're gonna start out with a multicolor yarn for, for January 1st. So this is the multicolor yarn that I'm gonna be using today. And here's my crochet hook. And this is size H or five millimeter. So that's what I'm gonna be using. Now to make the skull, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chain seven, which means I'm just gonna grab this yarn and pull it through the loop seven times. So there's my chain seven. Now from here, I'm gonna do a slip stitch into the very first chain back here. So I'm gonna make a loop. So I'm gonna basically put my hook in there, grab the yarn, pull it through, and pull it through. So now I have this little loop. Now I'm basically gonna do that again. I'm gonna do another chain seven. And then I'm again going to do a slip stitch back into that original loop. And basically by doing that, I've made a figure eight. And this is going to be the eyes of the skeleton. Now to do the top of the head. So I'm going to do four slip stitches to get to the edge. And then I'm gonna do a chain one, turn it around, and then do six single crochets. So let me show you what that looks like. So we do four slip stitches. So that's one, two, three, 
three, four. Now the purpose of that was to get from the middle to the end. Okay, so that was all that was. That was just transportation. Now we're gonna do a chain one. I'm gonna turn this around or flip it over. And from here, I'm gonna do six single crochets. So we're gonna go into here. Oh, go through. There we go. And then we go one. Come on. I did those last stitches a little tight. That's what's going on there. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. There we go, six single crochets. Now, from here, I'm going to turn, flip it over again. I'm going to skip the first stitch. So I'm gonna skip over this stitch right here. I'm gonna go right into this blue stitch. And we're gonna do four single crochets. So go, skipping this one, going into this one. We're gonna do one, two, three, go on, four. So we did our four single crochets. Now from here, okay, just opening up the eyes a little bit. So that's the top of the head. So let me arrange this so you could kind of see what we're looking at here. Okay, we have two eyes here and this is the top of the skull. So from here, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to cut a super long tail. So like, like, like this, I'm trying to show you. So, so it, it's like one pull, two pulls. I'm gonna cut it there and I'm gonna have the super long tail. And then I'm also going to put a stitch marker right here and it's gonna hold this open. So I have a stitch marker right here. I'm gonna give that a little slack and I'm gonna just slide that in there and it's just gonna sit right there and that's gonna hold my place and this tail we're gonna use later. So from here, we're now gonna work on the bottom of the skull. So what I have to do is I have to find the center which is right here and we're gonna go three stitches to the right. One, two, three. So it's gonna go into this purple stitch right here. That's where we're gonna join. So I'm gonna put my crochet hook in there. And the way I join is I pull the, the loop through and then I pull the tail through and then I find that that makes it fairly secure and I can also crochet that tail into the work as I'm going. I have the yarn joined right here on the edge and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna single crochet into the same loop that I joined into. And I'm gonna take the tail here to secure it and I'm gonna crochet it in. So we're gonna single crochet into the same hole. Then we're gonna single crochet the next two. And that brings us to the middle. Now from here, what I'm actually gonna do, I'm actually going to switch hooks. I have a chunkier hook. This is a size N or nine millimeter hook. I'm gonna switch hooks for just a moment. And on this larger hook, I'm gonna chain two. Okay, now that I've chained two, I'm gonna go back to the original hook. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip two stitches. And I'm gonna single crochet in the next two stitches. So what I just did there with that is I created the nose. So we have the eyes and the nose. Okay, now that we've done that, 
we are going to chain one and flip it over, turn it around. Now from here, we're going to skip a stitch and we are going to do a single crochet right here. Now we're gonna chain two. So we're gonna do a triple crochet over here. So you have to wrap twice. And we go through one, two, three. Then we're gonna chain one and we're gonna do a single crochet. And that just made the teeth. And then from here we bind off. So I just pull that through give it a snip and I pull it tight. That's how I do a bind off. So we have his little teeth, we have his little nose, and we have his little skull eyes. So there's our skull. Now the next step we're going to go back to this tail. And basically, I'm going to do a single crochet all the way around the skull. There's going to be 26 stitches in total that go around it. So I give myself some slack right there, and I take my marker off, and I put my hook back in. And now we're going to single crochet all the way around. When you get to the cheeks, you're going to put two single crochets in the cheeks because that's where the turn is. It just works out that way. So here we go. Now for the border, I'm going to be using this soft and shiny yarn. I don't know. I just, I really liked the way this yarn felt. It was just very like, like silky. I, I really liked it. So I want to give this a try. So going to go in at the top. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to attach the yarn. Now that I have this, I'm have my tail and I'm going to keep my tail and the head together just so that it gets worked in and it blends in. Um, when I did my practice, I thought I was doing half double crochet and then I realized it's not and I don't even know if it's a named stitch that I was doing. So I'll show you what I did and if this is a named stitch, let me know, but I, I don't think it is. But I did chain two and then I did yarn over. I skipped two stitches and I went in here. I pull it through once and I pull it through again, and then I grab the yarn and I pull it through both. I don't know if that's a stitch, but I'm, I'm making it a stitch. We're, it's, it's a stitch now. So we're going one, two, yarn over. I'm skipping two stitches and I'm going in over here. I'm going to pull that through and pull it through again and grab more yarn and pull it through both. Now this is gonna be a corner, so I'm gonna do the next one into the same exact stitch. So I'm still gonna do the chain two. I'm still gonna do the yarn over, but instead of skip, skipping stitches this time, I'm gonna go back into that same one, pull that yarn through and through, grab more yarn and through both. And that's what I'm gonna do all the way around. So it's chain two now, yarn over, skip two stitches, we're going to go in over here, pull that through and through again, grab it and through both. And then we're going to chain two, yarn over, skip two stitches, through two, through two. Okay, now we're at the end and I'm going to just join that here with a slip stitch. So we went around once. We're going to do this again. 
except this time instead of going like skipping two stitches we're going to go into the hole that was made so we're going to go into these holes so again we're going to do chain two yarn over now I'm going to go into this hole grab the yarn through and through so now that's it and I'm going to just basically take my crochet hook and I'm going to weave these tails in so that they're hidden. So now here is my first square for the project. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to block this, which basically means I'm going to get it slightly damp and I'm going to pin this to a cork board so that it holds its shape as it dries. And that way it will be a little bit more square like and I'll kind of pop the, the skull eyes open a little bit more so you could see his face a little better. But yeah, that is uh, that is day one. Day one. So we did it. We finished the granny square for t for day one of the temperature blanket. So came out pretty good. I, I can't wait to see it after I block it and it has a little bit better shape to it. But this is this is cool. So we're gonna have a skull granny square temperature blanket for 2023. Last year, something I did that I found really helpful was I had one of these uh, stitch holders and I put this on the very first day. So that way, whenever I laid it out, I easily could find it. So I always knew where to start counting from. Uh, the other thing that happened that I'm gonna learn from last year was I would sometimes make little piles of the pieces before I had enough to attach them to each other. And on occasion, they fell over. And then I had to pull up the weather for the month and get them back in the right order. So I'm going to, as I do these, slide them onto here until I'm ready to attach them to each other. Um, I do have a couple of these, so you know I'll put a smaller one on as the marker for day one. But yeah, I think I'm gonna keep a stack going for any that are done but not ready to be attached because what I found last year was I started attaching them like as I was doing it and if I didn't have enough for a row then I had to have the whole project out and it became like a big you know to do because I, I just have a little apartment and when I had enough to complete the row I had 18 of the 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 motifs that went into a row so every time I had 18 I would do the whole row and I found that to be much more useful so I'm going to do something similar um, I learned 18 is not the right number. <laughs> it's, it's off. Um, so I'm going to do a little math and I'm going to figure out what the right number is. And uh, once I figure that out, we'll start attaching it. But I'm going to go block this piece and, you know, we'll, we'll keep tabs on this. We'll check in and see how this project is going every couple of months. But with that, I'm done for now. I'll see everybody tomorrow. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.